Hello Libra, it's Brandy from Brandy's Tori and I Tarot. Oh, thank you for coming back. If you're new, hey, what's up? So please listen to the words that come out of my mouth, uh, because sometimes they just come and it's a message for someone. Okay, let's jump into this first. We are going to uh, Knight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. So someone is wanting to rush towards something. Anyways, we're going to dive into like what your obstacles are, your goals, your careers, okay? And it's just going to be a general message because this is a general reading. What is going on? And then we go into love, obstacle, what you need to know, all that good stuff, okay? So this is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the end of November of 2019 into December of 2019. Please, Spirit, this one wants to stay in my hand with death. Okay, so we have death, the two of wands, and the world. Uh, major here, Libra. Right off the bat, you're needing to make a choice, right? This is like outer influences. Uh, what are you needing to let go? What are you needing to transform for a new beginning? And that's not always... That could just be getting rid of some clutter, I feel like I need to say, right? And in order for you to get rid of this thing that you've been looking at for a while, really opens up a new world. That is a message for someone. A new beginning for you. Letting something fade away, but you're having to choose to do so. You're kind of in this conflict of what you need to let go. Maybe to move. Will of Fortune. You feel like you're blindly going into it, but you are being... You got a lot of major arcana here. See, I wanted to do Virgo, but something kept screaming in my head to do Libra. Alright? So there is travel here. There's moving here. Okay? We have strength. You're needing to overcome your own insecurities, maybe? And just trust that whatever decision you make is going to be the right one. I can't make this up. I have the magician. So six cards, five are major arcana right now. So I'm guessing this is why it was screaming at me to come do someone's reading. All right. So spirit, the universe, your intuition, whatever is urging you to make this decision and and go. Okay? It's a general message. So it's all intertwined here. Um, but you are needing to have the strength, overcome your fear, and go. Yes. You are manifesting something beautiful here. And I do apologize, and I don't normally do this, but this is definitely in my head, so I'm going to say it. Hmm. Someone has passed away, which is causing someone to move or make a choice here. But even in this grief, this move is good for you. It's eye-opening. It leads you to where you need to be. And as I say that, we have the Nine of Cups here. It leads you to your wish fulfillment. It leads you to your happiness independently is what I think of as nines, okay? Two of coins. You will come to this decision. It is a major decision, a tangible decision, a real foundation decision. Queen of Pentacles. I feel like someone uh, more female-based, and that's not because I'm just saying I'm feeling it's heavily female-based, even though this is for everyone. That message is for someone that is female. Um, yeah. This opens up new possibilities for you when you're pretty much, like, urged to move. Okay? With the Knight of Cups that fell out on my lap. <laughs> I see someone putting their head in someone's lap that's been long awaited. That's just goals. That's not even a love message, okay? So, this move, this transition, 
of choosing what you want in the world from this grief leads you, even though you are blinded, you feel very drawn to this decision and you need to make it. Okay? That's for someone out there. Um, that is my advice for you. Too many major arcanas here. So, do it. So I'm going to do this. We're going to go into the obstacles and something that you may need to know. And then we will go into love. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I need to adjust. I'm dying. I'm not really horrible words. I'm sorry. I just caught myself. Can I feel any better? Power of attraction just fell out. That is a mindset. That is overcoming like negative thinking. Um, aiming for what you want. Okay, the power of attraction like equals like. And I've been telling this ongoing theme. When you are okay with yourself, when you are fine with where you are going and who you are, everything falls into place. That's a very powerful message, it seems to be, for the Sag energy. I am going to read this out of the book. If I stop flinging it, I will read it out of the book. I just give you what I internally feel, and then I read it. So, uh, Okay, power of attraction. There's a wonder awaiting you. There are so many beautiful adventures and so much magic yet to be. Can you keep your heart open to what is coming towards you without surrendering your experience of this moment by becoming too future-oriented? You see, there is magic in the moment, too. There is something arising within you out of the depths of your being. In this process, there is a shift in environment. <laughs> both internal and external, a, a fertility is being stimulated, a shift, a move. Let me know if that's you, okay? It's your time to play with that fertility, to conceive, create, embark upon the process of transformation with an open heart and mind. You may not know where it's all going to lead. <laughs> I blows my mind. All you need to know is that it will be wonderful and exactly perfectly what is needed. Beyond that, allow the energy of fertile growth and abundance that now flows so naturally and richly within you and around you simply to be. You're a big soul that often comes with big dreams, and you're worrying that what you want may be too much out of life. Perhaps you think you're only capable of a small dream. Okay, uh, da -da -da -da. that comes along with a different message. You have recently completed a cycle or level of manifestation and are transitioning to the next level of experience. Like a big fish leaving the small pond, you're feeling rather small fish in a bigger pond. There will be some getting used to it, time needed if you find your way. It will add to what you have already done and bring valuable expansion into your realization of your abilities as well as many new relationships and opportunities to help you go further on your journey. What you are in the process of creating will benefit from this stage of your process. Backs up the whole reading I just done for that. So everything is going to be intertwined here. It seems like a big, big move for you. All right? A lot of manifestation powers you may not even be aware that you have brought into your life. And like I said, something hard is what is propelling you in into this okay so now we're going to go into some love messages so just give me a second here okay love love <laughs> okay so at the bottom of this deck is the ace of wands something passionate something new something vitality based but remember that passion can also consume you. All right, let's get some energy and relationship and love, please. I know a lot of people are here for it. <laughs> Five of Cups. Someone is going to be feeling emotionally distraught. Okay? Emotionally distraught, emotionally lost. The Three of Cups. Not really feeling celebratory. Maybe someone stepped into the picture. Maybe someone helped you see. There is a lot of emotions here already, though. Know? 
uh, nine of pentacles. Usually the single hood card. Okay. So uh, someone in this spectrum of this love relationship thing I'm asking about is leaving. They're leaving or being made to leave, something is pushing this out. I'm going to get more. Don't worry. I, I heard one flip, but I don't see it. Okay. These wanted to stay out. So that is the Devil, which is Temptation, and the Eight of Swords. So... That's Capricorn, major player here. Someone was tempted by a different set of fruit, since I have the Three of Cups here in this card. There was a lot of interference. That's what the Eight of Swords is to me, interference by others. Someone stepped into this relationship and caused some conflict. And someone is very sad about this loss, and that may be the thing I'm saying you had to move, like death to it no longer. Okay? Someone could have accidentally overdosed or something too. Alright, there's heartache wanting to come out. Ah, okay, we got the Ace of Wands again. There was passion involved in this. Some addictions. Lust for life. Give me more about this love. So there's the flipper. Yes, very burdensome. Okay, someone was carrying it alone. Someone was alone in this. Okay. Okay. We have the Four of Pentacles in reverse with the Lovers. And King of Earth. Didn't even see him. King of Pentacles. Okay. Someone is no longer hanging on. So we have the Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Gemini, Capricorn, very heavily here. So someone was definitely hanging on, feeling battered, withered, tired, trying to keep this connection together. But no longer, no longer doing that. Releasing it. Death to it. Moving along. Very sad. You gave this person your heart. Okay. Could be vice versa. I don't know. Read what I see. What is going to happen? Please, for Libra and love and relationship. What is going to happen for Libra and love and relationships? Please. We have... The Knight of Cups and the Chariot that fell out together. That is movement. You're going to move. There is moving. There's change. There's conflict. That is trying to enjoy the little things around you while you get yourself out of this. Heavy Cancerian energy coupled with the Knight of Water. Okay, these matches are everywhere. There could be little bits for little people. Okay, Libra. Alright. But you are attracting something new into your life. Okay? You're going to move forward. You're going to sense what is good for you. If they are good for you. But the chariot is success. And maybe a small message from someone that you once knew. Since I have a little guy in front of her giving a message and water cups is emotion is love is creativity you're receiving a new message which is going to help you propel and make this decision to move forward in a different direction okay we have the messenger of air which is the knight of swords which is someone's going to come in kind of fast with that message they want to work together with you. They want to get together with you. They want to collaborate with you. Okay? You may have to overcome your insecurities. Okay? You may have to overcome 
um, this past hurt. Okay. What's the advice for Libra in this love situation, please? What's the advice for Libra in this love situation, please? What is the advice for Libra in this love situation, please? It's coming for them. Three cards. The Seven of Wands in reverse, the Two of Wands upright, and the King of Swords in the upright. So you're going to let your guard down. You're going to choose to let your guard down. You're going to use your intellect to decipher, you know, um, what is real. You know, uh, clear intellect, clear decision, clear direction. Okay, that is someone who is truthful. So you may find someone is telling you not to fight, not to have your guard up. You know, choosing to just use your intellect, but to be very honest, to be very forthright. Do you have anything else I need to know? What is about Libra's person? What about Libra's person, please? What about Libra's person? Maybe an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, like you. Okay, but I do have a match here. There's a match. Now, the Queen of Swords is usually the only single one in the deck. Okay? Single and okay with that. Single and can mingle but does not want you, but this is a match. It is the Ten of Cups. That is happiness. Okay. That is happiness. So is, um, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. And since we do have like heavy cancer here, you could be dealing with the cancer. Okay. Because you had heartbreak from this past experience. It could take five to ten months for you to transition to release this and getting that. What about, what more about this person, about this relationship that's coming towards them, please? You're not going to want to rush in. You're going to want to take your time. Take a break. Queen of Cups. Heavy, heavy, heavy. So you can balance yourself out and learn how to reciprocate again and accept their love and heal. This person is going to be healing to you. That is Aquarius. But this is the right path for you if you're wondering. It is the right path, the right decision. We have to learn. We have to grow. We have to move on. Some things just don't work out. We have the Page of Wands and the Moon. Pisces. Cancer. Heavy Cancer. Okay. That is a small, passionate offer. Childlike. Trying to get you to step out of the hurt that you've been in, trying to get you to have fun. You don't know where this is really going. You know, you could go out at night. But they're trying to get you to open up. Alright. With the fool. Aries Pisces. Trumpet call. It's time for a new beginning, love. Time for a new beginning. You do not have to be in a serious relationship with anyone because I do see you being independent for a while and transitioning. Right. And you have real stable offers coming to you. You just have to discern which one is right for you. Okay. You may be a little bored right now and don't really want to take these offers or see these offers because you're focused on your own success. But whatever's coming is successful to you. You are just leaving this heartbreak behind. It's very heartbreaking for you. There's going to be a surprise in this, though, building your foundation back up. Okay? Someone could pop the question to you. Maybe someone from your past that did break your heart. Someone that left you out in the cold, but they're back. <laughs> Divine timing is at play here. It did just pop up. They're good. It's going to be a surprise. This person's going to be a delightful surprise, I think. Sorry, I'm down here picking up the cards. 
They're going to be a delightful surprise. But all those major arcanas that came out. Yeah, I think you're walking away from a past soulmate. They forced you to, though. They made you sacrifice this relationship. I think there is something horrible done here. But there will be a new offer that comes your way. But I believe it's in five to ten months. You have to transition first. Now, I am going to get a postcard from Spirit to kind of back this up. If you need more into this, if this is for you, I go $15, $20. Um, and if you go longer than like 15, 20 minutes with me, it only doubles to 40. I never go past that because I do shut I shut it down because of my energy read and you'll have to just cook another one. Sorry, I don't charge much for my gift. God doesn't want me to do that. He wouldn't give it to me, but I am here to give people um, guidance. People come to me all the time for guidance, so I figured probably the best way for me to do this, right? Okay. Give me one for Lieber, please, about this situation. What's going on? Dear you, there is only one you, and you have a unique place in the universe. Sometimes situations come up that challenge you to be authentic, and that means you have to be full of yourself and let go of being what you think others may want. Now is not the time to conform to other people's standards or expectations. Jim and I got this, and I shuffle. Be proud of who you are and be courageous. Stand tall in your convictions. Being yourself is a powerful statement and will only lead you to success and ultimately happiness. Don't compare yourself to other people. Want what you have. Choose what your heart wants and know that your purpose is yours alone. No one else can claim your magic nor take it away. When you place authenticity and originality high on your list of priorities and give them a prominent place in your awareness, extraordinary things happen. Your life is a beautiful one. Now I am going to draw another one. Because Jim and I got that one and out of all these cards. No. Okay. Please for Libra. Please for Libra. Some Moon Rising and Venus, please. Dear you, the simple yet powerful law of cause and effect, power of attraction, means everything is in relationship, intertwined. Every action on earth has a consequence, and even in the spirit world, there is a consequence for every action taken on your behalf. Right now, you are facing conditions that were set in motion by a past decision. Consequences are coming into being in your favor. Mm. They will remind you that making good choices and listening to your intuition pay off. If some things are a little off and uncertain, know that whatever you are f facing, you can step beyond it just by using your imagination and acting on that instead of reacting to what is being presented. Everything you think and do has far-reaching reverberations in the web of life. Move to higher ground and have faith that what goes around comes around. The universe is always self-correcting anyway. Isn't that amazing? See, I said something major was happening here. You may be faced with something that you did from your past when it said stand in your convictions. Could be a person from your past. That is going to be released because you're going to be like, yeah, yeah, I did that. And I'm sorry that, you know, it happened, but it's made me who I am. If you don't like that, we can move on. And that's going to put you where you need to be. Okay? Let me know in the comments. Please hit subscribe, and I'll catch you later, love.